Well, hello everyone, and thanks for watching. My name is Sam Gaza, and this is another Musky Tip Monday. So today we're going to be focusing on how to properly do a figure eight. And before we go out on the water and show you exactly how to do it, I wanted to mention a couple things from an equipment standpoint that are going to be really important. The first thing is to make sure you have a, a long enough rod. Uh, and I'm going to be talking about on the water how uh, in days of old, um, all musky rods used to be really short. Well, nowadays they're long. And it's important to have a rod that's at least seven foot six, if not longer than that. And so uh, for the example here, I have a uh, eight foot six bulldog rod from Musky Innovations. Uh, this is a very lightweight, low cost rod that you can use. And eight foot six is of course uh, very long and uh, will give you enough extension in the figure eight to make sure that your turns, especially at the top, are really wide, giving that fish the ability to turn and uh, follow your lure. The other thing I would uh, mention is that <clears throat> when you bring your lure uh, to the boat, make sure you don't reel it up all the way. Make sure that you leave a little bit of line between the tip of the rod and the leader um, so that you have enough ability to turn that lure in the water. And so I'll show you what I mean. So when you reel up, make sure that there's at least 12 inches, if not 18 inches of line between the tip of the rod and the uh, top of the leader. And that gives uh, at least uh, 24 inches of line uh, to be you know, turned around in the figure eight. So make sure that you have those two things uh, down pat before you do a figure eight. So let's go out in the water and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, in kind of the old school mentality of thinking, uh, a lot of the older musky fishermen uh, never really did figure eights at the end of their casts every single time. It, uh, normally it was known commonly that if a fish was following then you would start doing the figure eight. The reason we have to do figure eights at the end of every single cast is because muskies will often follow from deep down underneath. I've mentioned that in some of my previous episodes, some of the episodes to come as well. And uh, <clears throat> when you then turn on that figure eight, those muskies that are trying to ambush your lure from down underneath uh, will then come up on that top turn and hit it. So I'll show you an example of that right now and I'll see you back here in just a second. I do figure eight. Okay, so you can see how that was what I call a blind figure eight, where I didn't see the fish coming, but on the top turn, that fish did indeed hit. So when you're doing a figure eight, there's three things to remember. And those three things are a change in speed, a change in direction, and a change in depth. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So when you cast out and you are reeling in, we're gonna be using a double showgirl as an example. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come out wide when your lure is about 20 feet from the boat. So come out wide, and the reason we come out wide is it allows that first turn to be wide. And you want all of your turns to be wide. You don't, you don't want to kind of come in and then do a sharp turn like that because muskies can't turn on a dime like that. So <clears throat> that's the first thing you're going to want to do is make that wide turn out, okay, when you get to about 20 feet from the boat. And um, so that's the change in direction, but you're gonna wanna do a change in speed as well. So again, you're coming out wide, speeding it up, coming down deep, because you wanna come up high and hang it at the top. Come out high and hang it at the top, and remember that. And <clears throat> again, changing that speed when you come into it allows you to get slower at the top too. Okay, so down and then hang it at the top, okay? And there's a muskie right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't believe it. Um, <laughs> I literally just raised about a 40 inch muskie. I don't know if he's coming in again or not. This is one of the most bizarre things. I've never raised a fish doing a tip before. Um, anyway, so that was a, li a bit distracting. Guess my figure eight wasn't good enough because he didn't hit. <laughs> wow. And what I was saying is it doesn't have to be a figure eight. It could be a big circle just like this. In fact, with some of the bigger fish, you want to do a circle, not an eight. So that's what a circle would look like. If you want to do an eight, 
going to look like this. You come out wide, fast, deep. You're going to hang it at the top. You're going to dive it down deep. Hang it at the top, just like this, okay? Apparently, we were able to raise a fish by doing a real good figure eight, but we just weren't able to catch them because our figure eight wasn't good enough. But there, there's one exception to that, and that is when you're using a glide bait. In a glide bait um, like this uh, Joe Booker uh, lure that he made called the Glide Raider, uh, you are not necessarily going to want to do a figure eight with this because it's kind of an awkward uh, type lure. So one of the things you're doing here is letting that lure move side to side, side to side, and you come into the boat and you're going to want to do what they call a death pause where you just kind of let it sit there. And if a muskie doesn't come up to it, then you're just going to kind of twitch it here like this and then let it hang. And what we call that is when we let it hang, uh, we call it dead sticking when it's next to the boat. But when it's a little bit farther away, we call it the death pause. <laughs> and uh, honestly, it's the same thing. You're just letting it pause after doing some erratic jerks. So this is really the only lure that you're not, there's the death pause. Now we come over to the boat, let it kind of go back and forth, and then let it pause again. just like that. So remember, after every single cast, you're going to want to be doing figure eights, number one. And um, when you have a glide bait, you're going to want to make sure that you are doing the death pause, I would say about 15 to 20 feet from the boat. And then uh, when you get, you know, to the boat, you want to be doing some uh, jerks and then a pause. And that pause is called dead sticking, just like this. All right, so I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please comment below. Let me know your thoughts, uh, any other things I might have missed. And then in addition to that, if there's any other topics you want me to cover, please let me know. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, SG Angling, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>